Hello everybody, welcome to the first semi-final of the NAF Rules Cup. We've got Will King with Blue Lizards, gone for a slightly different Elizabeth build with a guard and only five block. And also he's got the reserve and only two re-rolls. Up against Talk Talk Talk, who beat me in the first round. He's gone five guard, a dodge blitzer, a tackle blitzer, a couple of wrestle linemen, and a dirty player lineman. So pretty interesting knobs OP, as Dimmy would say. I don't know if Dimmy will be joining us in the booth, that'd be quite good, but uh, I'm on my own unfortunately at the moment. I am here. Oh, sorry, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> I was so, I was so, uh, I was so proud of myself for that. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was so proud of myself. Um, so there you go. Yep. I didn't save it, I just did it instantly. I <laughs> used it instantly. I was going to save it and save it and save it and then unleash it. You know, I was like, fuck it, I can't resist it. I was so proud. I was so proud of myself making it. You know, top, uh, top video editor that I am. <laughs> Oh my god, I've got a stab Saurus. For the drive, isn't it the stab? Yeah, drive. Wait. Yeah, drive. I like that it has this colour coded thing as well where it lasts, that's good, isn't it? I mean you're not really gonna stab anybody, but you might. Maybe actually, funnily enough, against uh, the blockers, right? Because with the blockers, you can't push them, and uh, you don't want to get wrestled versus them, so you might sometimes stab a wrestler. Oh, blocker is there. Ludicrous. No, they're bodyguards, aren't they? Yeah. I think calling them wrestlers is best. Oh, they're just instantly down. He's got a bit of guard to try and fight, but it's not a lot, is it? Ooh. Risky. Always risky blitzing there. Um... I would have definitely not moved this guy. Moved the Saurus there, and then, like, you know, kept all the skinks behind, protect the skinks as much as possible. Um, and then, if after you do this block, if you don't power him, then you've got the Blitz with this guy, right, to Blitz him. Maximize your hits, yeah, well, there we go. So we've gone stupid. Do get this punch, which is a one in nine. Instantly thinks, oh, look, I wish I'd gone block on all my Saurus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a turn, obviously, the last action, you don't re-roll this. If you're re-rolling this, you shouldn't have made the block, right? Is basically what you're saying there, should not have made the block. Hello, Ali Raider. Hello, Christopher B. Hello, Captain Oates. Hello, Bad Santa. Yeah, you've got to eat it now, it's... You gotta. Oh, has he gone too far? No. He moved that through instantly, didn't he? He was zero fucks given there.
I think we'll have Nobbs having a stand firm and that a stand firm, a stunned player. I think the order of the day is to just kind of screen a bit and blitz this little shit and block this guy. Ooh, maybe we're going in a little bit here. Interesting. Super interesting. You do stand up the old guy. See, I would have pro probably not tried to stand up. I guess the thing is, if you can stand up now, then at least he's up, right? So that, like, you know, if you if you try next turn and he fails to stand up, you've lost another turn. So I don't know. I I feel like just you know not doing much this turn apart from punching the Saurus and blitzing was fine. I don't like the ogre constantly getting knocked down again. I don't think it's worth just eating an activation. Maybe two. By following, he's uh, got in his own way for the tackle blitz. Not tackle blitzing. He's dodge blitzing. And of course, would have knocked him down with tackle. Yeah, I don't like just standing up the ogre to get hit. I would have rather. I get, I get, I get putting the tackle, you know, in line with the ball, more or less, right? Makes sense. Can maybe go for ball sack next turn. Keeping his two blitzers far, far apart is quite good as an idea, right? You've got your two block players. Wide as coverage as possible. I just really like punching that guy with tackle. I think I just like tucking in here. The old fend. I wonder how uh, feasible the cage dive is. Probably quite feasible, right? 30% in. And if you get in, two dice in there. Is that, it's a surprisingly good shot on the ball. Probably should go for that more against uh, lizards and if you're knobs. <laughs> because knobs suck and lizards are the best. That was unfortunate, wasn't it? If he'd stood up the ogre, he could have put in the guard here and got 2D there, then 2D there. He can, yeah, he can do it the other way now if, uh, if he gets a push. He does. Oh, I should put the skills on. Put the put the put the position rings on for the heathens for a turn or two. Nob suck. No nobs could nobs could win it. I mean they're in the semis, right? But they're uh Like, it's because of the package they've got. The team is still bad, like, fundamentally, but it's the good package that gives them half a chance.
This is like full Euro Bowl rules, isn't it? Um, so. And they did get the highest win rate of Euro Bowl, as Demi loves to tell us, but it was a tiny sample size. I think Nob's are better than OWA. Again, it just depends on the package. Um, I would say it's very close. Probably not. Probably not better than OWA, no. I think it's close, though. I think they're both a bit rubbish. Um, but it just depends on the package as to who's there. Don't want to play either of them by choice, I tell you. I tell you. Stab the blodger here. Well, he did a good job of beating everyone off there, didn't he? Talk, talk, talk. Like, that's most of the game, right? If you just maximise your 2D blocks. It's really, really, really good. He's just trying to outmuscle them, but he, you know he has got a lot of guards, so he might uh, might find it tricky here. Yeah, the mindless basing isn't good, is it? Like you know, you've got to be trying to create penetration in a kind of concerted manner, right? Like you don't need a lot because don't you move need money. Any gym. What are you on about? It's lizards. Oh, hello, Dimmy. How are you? Hello, mate. Yeah, good. I'm uh, getting frustrated with the talk of penetration. Well, I'm, I don't, I don't blame you, but um, but <laughs> <laughs> penetration is what it's all about. You still need, you still need some dimmy. You still want to be five squares in. Anyway, it's lizards, mate. He doesn't need to do anything until turn six. <laughs> well, at the moment, he's just lining himself up to get beaten off. Beaten off. Do you think getting beaten off is a good idea by a lizard man? Hang on, who are we talking about? Are we talking about knobs or are we talking about lizards? The lizards. The lizards are just are just they're just walking forward. Look, I mean, okay, it's a line. It's a decent line and he got a stun, but if he hadn't yeah. got this stun, he'd just beat him off. He's just two Ds all along. And uh, he knocked out over all the Sora snap last turn. Well, not all of them, but he knocked over about four of them, so you know, just oh, walking forward work, and getting yeah. beaten off isn't isn't a great plan for anybody. Or well, hey. <laughs> Penetration is what you need. You need it. You can't score without penetration. You just can't. Oh, Ogre Blitz. Wow. Nice. Love it. This uh, means, like, he gets better. What's what's the word for this, Jimmy? Um, action economy, doesn't he? Action economy, Jimmy, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Ooh, I don't, wouldn't have done that. I would have... Uh, I'd have pushed him to this square and then brought in one of these guys to assist that guy blocking. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Beating off those guys, looking at the line of knobs, exactly. <laughs> they don't have Dauntless anymore, do they? The, uh, the Blitzers, they're just... Shit. Don't need it to. Mm. I got five guard. What are they doing this for? Well, because it's a good skill and they've got strength three. Strength three. Strength three. Oh, they're just uphill. They've got catch, mate. What are you on about? They're like they're OP. They ain't OP, Dimbo. They're uh, OP, Jimmy. They ain't OP. Oh, he's look. He's beating off the Crocs. Got to be happy about that. And he's based up a couple of the. Um, a couple of the skinks. He hasn't got in the kind of favourite ones of basing them with block, right, is what you want, so you can actually knock them over sometimes, but uh, he hasn't got much block because he's got knobs. Yeah, he's just going to blitz the lino. He should just be blitzing linos. Probably with that stab sword. Is there something in front of the croc? So, oh, so this is no, it's a source. Yeah, it's, it's a source. A, yeah, it's a source. Do you think he saw us? This one is. 
So you, you can't see around the crocs, he said, do you think he saw us? That was hilarious. That was terrible, Jim. If Elliot was here, he'd say it was hilarious, I tell you. I am here. It's absurd, it is absurd. <laughs> That's the GW Mini though, it's just like... There's so many terrible GW minis. The, uh, the whole undead team makes it like the undead mummies are just pathetic. <laughs> Did you ever play Blood Bowl 2, Captain Oates? Because the mummies on Blood Bowl 2 were amazing. They were, yeah, they were incredible. I like the Crocs. Yeah. Like, it's it's absurd, but I still like it. Yeah. Mate, I've painted so many of those. You see all the ropes on the lizard men armour? Oh, yeah. Spent days painting them. <laughs> Dimmy G obsessed by knobs has spent days painting ropes. Paint, painted ropes for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he just dodging here? This is a bit iffy. Oh, he's going to sideline cage. Of course he is. So that the, uh, the dodges aren't crucial. See, I would have just punched all the linos and like stayed where I was. Like mm. honestly, lizards don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, I loved the mummies. They were definitely my favourite. Now favorite. he's kind of like ooh, ooh. Oh, feeding him to the tackler. Nice. The stun on the guard's pretty nice here, though, to be honest. Yeah, he's getting a few armor breaks, to be fair. The uh, Talk Talk Talk's doing his best to beat off the lizards, but the lizards getting a few armor breaks just to keep themselves ahead. You can seesaw his uh, dodger off the saurus. We can surf the, so we can surf the uh, saurus here, right? <laughs> Block this minutes. guy, block this guy to there, put in this guy to here, and then blitz the crocs. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's incredible analysis, Jimmy. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. I think that's a really good idea. That's what I'd do. I, I think someone should pay you to go to Eurobowl and play on their team with that sort of analysis. I think you're right, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not too bothered now, to be honest, after the, uh, yeah. <laughs> after the rules. <laughs> yeah. Don't blame you. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Because if they, if they made, you know, like how six six uh, skills is like the standard. Um, uh, kind of, yeah. Like some of them do five. Yeah, I want. Could you imagine the the pushback would be unbelievable if they'd like just made nine the standard? But like, there's nothing wrong with making nine. I think nine would just be better than six, mm. just strictly better. I don't think Just so. less luck involved, isn't it? You don't get any tools with six skills. You get nothing. It's terrible. It's yeah, absolutely depends. garbage. But because it's the way it is, people are like, oh, don't change it. But then they've changed it by taking stuff away, which is like the worst way you could change it. So, yeah. I'm really not enthused about playing it, that's for sure. Um, hello, Coach Mog. I mean, nine hello. would be the baseline. Nine would be the, nine would be the baseline, right? <laughs> and then... Zones would be fine because there are people who get mighty blow tackle. Mate, them, nine they? sounds terrible, mate. You just Why? want nine guard orcs because you got slapped by your seven guard orcs. <laughs> <laughs> you need another two guard Everybody orcs. Everybody would have nine skills, so it'd be fine. Nah, it'd be awful. Mate. I mean, you just, that's what I'm saying, like this. So, I mean, you're, you're, you're making my point for me. Thank you, Dan. Well, people just be spamming guard everywhere. But they do you? now, anyway. Yeah, I know, but they're not spamming nine of them, they're spamming five of them, and you can at least deal with that. Like, <laughs> nine guard versus nine guard just sounds horrendous. It's not worse than six guard versus six guard. It is. It's it not. Is. It is. Plus, you have seven you guard plus like, a mighty blow yeah. tackler. Yeah. Like, it's literally not worse. But what I'm saying is, there would be massive pushback, and I mean, you know, thank you because you proved it, right? There would be massive pushback against nine skills, which is like, which would just be better. And then instead they're like, oh no, five I skills. Be I don't think it'd be better. I know, I know you wouldn't. I, that was my point. <laughs> yeah. But um, but like, it's obviously less like less uh, randomness and stuff, isn't it? There's more skill involved if you've got nine skills and six skills. 
I don't know. It's just gonna like increase the amount of block and weight blow and stuff. So it's just increasing removals, which increases. You're damage. not really increasing removals. Well, it depends what nine skills they choose. Doesn't it? Thousand TV does enough anyway, right? Thousand TV. Yeah, just literal starting teams doing enough random cards to decide games. Yeah. Look at look at, look at Strider versus me in the Super League the other season. You know? No. When when he when he had wood elves and I had orcs and he just massacred me, it just happens, right? Ooh. Or TV, it's random, random as fuck. Like it's just literally random as fuck. It's only it's not six skills through any science. It's six skills because the first ever Blood Bowl tournament had had six games. Well, five. It, it did have six games, and then they had like a skill after every game, and then they just kind of were like, oh yeah, well let's do that forever. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's not it's not like an amazingly balanced thing that that anybody designed or thought was good. It's just the way yeah, it is. The yoga with this other skin. I think he's trying to figure out whether to dodge. Yeah, yeah. He's fine. definitely gonna dodge this one. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean the other one's getting surfed, and he has to dodge the other one as well. Oh yeah, which one to go first? I think you've got to try this one first because yeah, you've, you've got to hit the yoga, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you literally have to hit the yoga. He hasn't used dodge, so now with only one reroll, he's probably got to make this dodge as well, and then fails oh. it because he blocked his path. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then now he's got. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like he literally moved this guy to block his path. And I get why it was to try and yeah, stop that, this a bit more, but it, he yeah. should not have done. He should not have blocked his path, and then he wouldn't have had to do this dodge, and then he could have made that block, and then he could have not got served. I mean, you just you can just uphill the crocs with wrestle and then blitz the ball as well. Yeah, no, I mean, I I, mean, I agree with you. I know why I did it, but um, I think he shouldn't have. Oh, well, there you go. He's got a chance. Yeah, imagine how many skill bands you'd need. It'd be outrageous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, the skill band, like that's the thing, like like bookkeeping. I mean, to be fair, like most rule sets, like. They're giving like tier four teams like nine skills anyway, but yeah. the shit teams need it really. Yeah, but I mean, well then the shit teams would have like twelve or fourteen, or fourteen. Yeah. yeah. More doubles, more stacks. Give them okay, a chance. I tell you what, Jim, you should make your own tournament with that rule pack. It's and, almost uh, like that's exactly what I'm going to do, Jimmy. Oh, good. I'll good get the Jimmy. best players in the world to play in it. Yep. Yep. And do let's that. see what happens. Let's see what happens to that. Yep. And uh, but yeah, I mean that, that's a big thing. Yeah, the the what's it called? Like the logistics of running a tabletop tournament, right? Means that six is good. It's about the bare minimum you can give somebody to it not be absolute garbage. Basically, that's all math is. It's the bare minimum to not be garbage. Oh, close. Which they haven't cleared in the case of the beta rules of. <laughs> um, Oh, he's open. That. He's got a two D. Yeah, he Lovely does. Deal. Yeah, yeah. Because he had to deal with the ogre. That's the thing. Like dealing with the ogre was more important than oh. than putting this guy here. And this one kind of did both because he would have been in. That was a real. Maybe like maybe if he'd eaten the one in nine earlier, he would have made the GFI to you know to more chance of getting their total. I tell you what though, like even if he. Uh... Gets in a, if he gets in a nil Double nil, wand anyway. I still have a chance. Yep. Wow. The, the Nobility offense against Lizards is going to be horrible. It is, yeah. Yeah, the defense is a bit better, isn't it? It's a lot better, yeah. It's incredibly better. Incredibly better? It's, yeah, it's yeah. a lot better. Incredibly better. It's fantastic better. <laughs> Fantastically, wonderfully better. <laughs> it's purely belter. Is he going to go for the? Oh wow, he is going to. He's going to uphill. What would you? Him. Like it's easy, man. Easy. Well, he could have moved this guy first. I wonder. I I, I was wondering who's going to do this first. Of the, uh, move the blitzer. So I wonder what he's going to do with the blitzer. Got to take this skink. Also, the blitzer could made it a one D, right? So. I think I moved the Blitzer up and round, like behind the Ogre. Yeah, but I mean, he would have done that already, wouldn't he? So maybe he's going to try and like run through and round the back. One, One dodge. two, three. 
Uh, really hard. He ain't getting through there. So why didn't he move it before the up? Well, that's what I'm saying. Why? Like, it's interesting. Jimmy. Why? It's interesting, isn't it? It's super interesting. I think. Yeah, you can't. Like the problem is, is if he fails to dodge and kills the blitz, so he's like the the problem with the one tackle and one dodge blitz, so is you really have to make sure that dodge blitz doesn't die before your offense. Yeah, maybe then. If you're a okay. exceptional knob like me, <laughs> exceptional uh, knob. You, you know that you just drop the tackle and take the dodge. I think. Sadly, I love the tackle, but I think. I think the correct one is the two dodges. Yeah, I like Chris's team, right? I thought Chris's yeah, team was pretty good. Isn't you need them mobile. You need them moving around and doing things. Yeah. And as much as I love the tackle, I just don't think... Like, because I had a game against Ramps this weekend, and one of my dodges died on turn two after I stole the ball. Oof. And I was very happy that my other Blitzer was a dodger, because then I managed to scrape out a draw, mm -hmm. and I had a ball carrier. Well done, Timmy. Whereas normally, I'd be carrying on a tackle piece for the rest of the game, and that would have been <laughs> horrendous. Yeah. Well, I can't remember making any dodges with him, but yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I did at some point. Yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious how many how many squares it takes up. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I think it's great. Like, I, I mean, I think it's stupid, but I think it's great. I, I, I think the lizards are like the kind of best models, really. They, they were like the most fun models I've painted. In fact, something to go by. Mm. I really enjoy painting the lizards. I really like my lizards. Too. Good. I'll play him again soon, really. I haven't played him since March. Yeah. I had to uh, get over how easy it was, and uh, I've calmed down a bit now. So <laughs> I've, uh, I've done my fair share of hard mode, blah blah. <laughs> is he going to 1D the ogre? I guess he is. So yeah, he safe moves first. Easy. Full pow. And an AV break, oh my goodness. It doesn't even, like the problem is, is there's a wrestler right on the floor there by the ball. Mm-hmm. I don't know where he's going to go. In this cage, probably. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! There's oh, a yeah, fucking cage! There's a fucking cage there! But I mean, it's, uh, it's easily cracked. And then hit with tackle, so... I guess you could put it back here. But then it's too deed with wrestle, so... Oh, because the guard is in the corner, yeah, yeah. Here, I guess you could go here. Here. Okay, I'll sideline cage it. There you go. That's pretty good, isn't it? What an exciting half, Jimmy. It's been pretty interesting, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been pretty good, yeah. Mm. I can't believe he's got all the way to the semi with knobs. Pretty incredible, isn't it? I mean, well, there was no one standing in his way after the first round, was there? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> after he after he won the first round, I mean, who could who could like you know take over from that? Really, that was it. All the gold, all the gold. There's not a ton of gold on lizards, is there? To be fair, mate, I I didn't put any of the headdresses on the skinks or any of that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> like any any of those optional bits can fuck right off. <laughs> they go straight in the bin. <laughs> so, yeah, like that seems a lot of gold here, doesn't it? Like, would like you've got like the gold. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do the um, shoulder pads like gold like that though. I uh, painted them green. Oh, gr gr green, black, and yellow, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guess it? <laughs> I don't know. I just had a feeling. <laughs> I, I looked up some uh, classic uh, lizard paint games <laughs> and uh, selected one that looked, looked like it went alright. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that makes sense. Oh, he's one back there. Mm. I guess he's worried about the switcheroo. Yeah, the switcheroo's dangerous, isn't it, when you've got 2D everywhere? Mm, he's only got like two skinks. Oh, he can free that skink easily. Can he free a Saurus? He can, Ooh, he, he can, can free that Saurus there. He can free two Saurus, so basically you take the 2D with the Saurus on the guard on the Lino, you hope for a pal, and then you blitz the guard off. Mm. Oh, you don't need to blitz the guard of now. 
No, no, so, and then you've got and then you got the two skinks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's gonna have to do GFIs with a skink. Yeah. This is the problem with the sideline cage and not being it like in between the box uh, of But yeah, you, you could definitely get a cage in range from here. You will me. You will need one dodge. He needs to power this lino first and foremost. In the middle, on the centre circle. First and foremost. Yeah, he needs to power him with the guy that's on the guard guy. We're not hitting the guard guy. We're just going to hit the lino. Once once we've powered him, then we can prepare the rest of the cage. Yeah. <clears throat> but then, if we do power, we could also blitz the blodger. And then we wouldn't need to do GFIs with the ball because we can cage in the middle if we power him. But then, you, if you're blitzing the bludger, then you're not then you're not getting through at all, right? So you've got to blitz, you've got to block this guy. You've got to power this guy even. Uh, you just dodge through on a free plus. Or you power the light. Oh my god, he's going up the side. Yeah, just brute force. I guess this is all right. Yeah, like the, as long as the coxagor moves. Yes. Yeah. Like, if the coxagor and if the coxagor doesn't move, then you boot. He's just going to go sideline cage further down, and he what a scumbag! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what an absolute scumbag! Yeah. What a cop out! <laughs> but oh, oh no, oh Ooh. no! He didn't want to do the GFI. Yeah, yeah. Had yeah, to yeah. do the GFI. Had to do the GFI. And you can free these to base, right? You can free this to base there. Base this. Get the skink forward. Or moving the ball. Oh, because he doesn't. He wants to get that skink through. And their heads. Yeah, first. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I see what he's gonna. He could have done that side. anyway. Actually. He's gonna sideline cage in front of the court. Yeah, I didn't realise. Yeah, he could have just done that before. Yeah. Wait, is this is a GFI. He could have. He could have been one back, right? And then he'd been. Oh, but then he. So yeah, he could have done that first, and then yeah, come and up behind. Yeah, and then next to the crops, and yeah. then you don't have the five plus, or it'll be a six plus there because of the crops tail. Well, it's just a six plus anyway, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because they're actually pop there. Four. Uh, three. But um, <clears throat> yeah. Like, I mean, if he's next to the crops, then you you can't get surf, right? So well, I guess maybe you can. Oh no, probably not. Probably not. Unless you uphill the stab Saurus first, <laughs> and yeah. then do the six plus dodging and surf him. But yeah. I mean, you can five plus in the front and not surf him, couldn't you? It might be the best thing he's got here, to be honest. But he has to pack that skink, and he's got nobody. He's got the blodger, right? The blodger can. Can dodge with dodge, and then six in the front or five in the side. I think that's what he has to do. He hasn't used any rerolls at all, so you know he's got plenty of stuff. He's got plenty of stuff. He's got all the stuff. Yeah. You like the five plus. I like the five. Plus. I am here. Hmm. But you got to do a free plus first. And as a knob expert, I can tell you he's going to one in nine the dodge. Oh. <laughs> Genius. There you go. Instant. <laughs> Instant stop. <laughs> oh dear. Almost like I played knobs before, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody doubted you'd played with your knobs, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> I thought you'd have just stabbed, wouldn't you? Just start with a stab. Yeah. Start with a stab. I thought you might just score, you know? Nah, stab. stab. No dance, wow. Okay. It was funny, you know, your game versus our one of the uh, one of the comments on the YouTube is you you know it was a dicing because Dimmy didn't touch down dance. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so excited to like get it in. I was like, woo! <laughs> that one. To be fair, I was pretty badly diced in that game. <laughs> 
<laughs> up until the six plus, like, I didn't roll a power like the whole first yeah. half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did miss position a bit, but like he was literally just banging all over me. Yeah. I mean, what am I gonna do? Not try the six plus pass? <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, and he, he let you off as we, as we all talked about. Uh, and then he didn't re-roll the thing when he had no screen protecting the ball, and then yeah. I just went and got it. You know? so. Yeah. Yeah, he's not perfect. Mate, that's a horrendous matchup for Undead as well. I'm going to keep saying it. It's, <laughs> it's absolutely awful for Undead, that matchup. What, the mirror? Necro. He was Necro. Art was Undead. No, you weren't. Yeah, you weren't. What do you want about you? Art was he was undead. undead in BBSL. We played in NAF Cup. Oh, the NAF one. Oh, my God. You cast the game. <laughs> <laughs> Mad lad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, the mirror, the the undead necro mirror. The undead Jim, necro right? mirror. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. It seems like a bad match for, up for everyone. Uh, Euro ball necro. It's different. Well, it's different. Like if you've got the guard, like the guard build that Seaboard had. I don't think it's as bad because you got the guard mummies. But with my build, it's not. It's sub Gucci. Sub I think it'll be sub Gucci for Zebras as well. I fancy Dave ought to beat him on Saturday. <clears throat> when Saturday comes. Mm. And uh, there is. I think probably Dark is the only one that seems kind of favourable versus Euroball Necro, honestly. And that's, uh, and that's maybe just Zebras being brilliant or lucky, but. Um, and Necro as well. Uh, yeah, Mirror, yeah. Necro Mirror. Yeah. Mad in it. Mad in it. He's gonna be. He's really. It's really sad that um, talk, talk, talk is down a guard bodyguard. Talk, 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 talk. Yeah, it is really, really, really. It's really, really sad. Like honestly, like I had so many removed bodyguards this weekend, and like just missing one, like it, you, you feel it, especially on like an early turn. It's yeah. Brutal. And Will King's still got 11 because he's he's gone for the reserve rather than the third re-roll. And he's still got the Genius. Apple. Yeah, so... I, I would have gone for the re-roll and no reserve, but um, what can you say? I, I quite like the reserve with this because it can go to overtime. I think without you overtime... you prefer the re-roll for overtime? I would have no. thought you'd prefer the re-roll for overtime. No, because I can just play more conservatively and root super, super safe. You can put, like, put re-rolls into your one turn. You can... Like, there's, there's, I think the re-roll makes more sense in overtime. No, I think re-roll makes more sense in like... 16 turns because you need to re-roll your one turn and you've got to like you know you've got to get it done and win in normal time so like you know you're gonna have to roll some dice to get it done in normal time whereas you know the your main danger with overtime is getting banged out and uh, so i'd want to minimize the chance of myself getting banged out i'll be absolutely amazed if he pulls this off i will as well yeah be very good very impressive if he can do this. Probably should get the ball to the guy right now. In he fact, needs definitely to should. He needs to fill the square in front of the Croxagore. And the problem is, is he can't move the rest. The wrestle guy needs to move in front of the Croxagore. And the other lino on the right needs to move into the square the wrestle's in. And he needs to do that before he does his block. Because otherwise he's going to mess himself up. How does he get the fourth one? No idea, Jim. This <laughs> guy, this guy punches you, right? Yeah, he really wants the he really wants the last block to be done by the ogre, but then the ogre's the only one who can fill this square. So the ogre really just has to fill the square, unfortunately. And he has to make the last block with this, which is all horrible and all the wrong way around. So yeah, he's fucked it a bit already. Not that it's particularly his fault, but He doesn't need to fill that square. Well, he just needs to fill the square in front of the crop. He has to fill this one, Dimmy. What for? So that he can push. He can, he's, he's got a guy in front of the ogre. Doesn't matter, you have, you have to have that one guy there. I mean, he stopped doing it because he couldn't do it. Well, no, because you could, you could use the lino. He needed somebody stood it in this square. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 
Yeah, so the, and the only he could do is move on the ogre, but the, he needed the ogre to make the last hit. So he could have moved the ogre in, and then he could have yeah. tried to do some crazy dodges at the end to try and get this other guy for but it wasn't really going to happen. Oh, oh well, he just made God. it to Kaz. Glorious. Jobs OP. OP AF. And there comes in the apple, gets him. Lucky apple, lucky, lucky apple. 37.5% apple. Yeah, I mean, I had a map bar in that all day, I think. Oh, yeah, you had to have a yeah, so Prochosaurus in it. But now, we, we're at uh, half time. So, yeah, this is really tough for Wilking now because obviously he's got the. Uh, it's his drive, isn't it? So he has to. Sorry, yeah. Who did I say? He said Wilking. He's the lizard guy. Oh, God. Yeah, this is really tough for talk, 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 talk because, as you say, Nob's worse on offense. He's 1 0 down. He's a guard. He's a guard down. down, and he has to conserve his rerolls for overtime because the only way he can win is by getting to overtime. Yeah. So, very tough for him right now. Yeah. I mean, I make knobs massive favourites here because they're knobs. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think this will be a cakewalk. Uh, he's going <laughs> to win two-one in this drive as well. It won't go to. I am here. And uh, we'll see lots of touchdown dances. <laughs> Easy, easy win for talk, 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 yeah. talk, 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 talk. This is the uh, this is when my opponent turns around to his mate and says, "Ah, oh, it's going to be at least a draw." And then I shake my head at him and say, "You're losing this, son." <laughs> and then we draw. <laughs> Brilliant. Have you so Ali? Have you only just painted the crocs? Have you got? Have you got? All, have you done the lizards, or have you just done this? Did you start with the crocs? I always paint the big guy last. It's a bit like when I was a kid, and we used to have like pork chops and like <laughs> veggies and stuff. I always used to eat all the vegetables, then all the potatoes, and then I used to eat the pork chop or the meat. Ah, oh, you should eat protein eat first. You should eat protein Could first, have, then yeah, vegetables, then carbs. Yeah, yeah, you should eat vegetables before. Yeah, carbs are the last thing you should eat. It's just, poison basically. That's not true, but yeah, okay. <laughs> they basically are. Basically. <laughs> not really. Complete utter poison. <laughs> I mean, something that you need to survive is hard to call poison. You don't need carbs to survive. Pretty much. No, you don't. I mean, you pretty much do. Rocks first. What a madman. He can't really wrestle him, he's just got to beat him off, hasn't he? Just push him away. Full power. Problem is, now he doesn't get to uh, keep them based, does he? Probably needs to support this ogre going stupid or one in ninety. what he does, more or less. I think one one right was better. Because if he like one in nines and then this guy gets knocked over, there's a hole right. I don't think I ever did anything in order, I just did whatever. To be yeah, probably just did all the same it time. all out of order. I probably just did it all at the same time. Just batch painting. Oh, what you mean painting? Yeah, no, I always painting. did a big guy last. I do the linos first, then I do the positionals. Because I tend to get better at painting a team, like the more models I've painted, so. Always do linos first. I think, I, honestly, I think I just batch painted everything. I really hate painting big guys for some reason. Mm. They're too big. <laughs> too big. They take ages. They take ages. <laughs> Why have you got a troll for your orcs, uh, Evil Moose? Trolls are pretty good. You take a troll on tabletop with you, Jimmy, after it let you down in BBSL so hard? I mean, no. But, you know, other people do, don't they? Like, I don't yeah, think it's terrible. 
did a good job, Ali, mate. You should be. You should have. Uh, you should have got some dolphins for that. <laughs> it's a lovely French Crocs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's French Croc. We got yeah. <laughs> Ali uh, auditioning for Team France. Fever. <laughs> I think everyone will be auditioning for Team France, won't they? Very conservative. See, I like the Saurus in pairs, because then they can clear each other. Oh! Oh, dear. He's got all those block players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's got mine as well. Yeah. We're going to see a big punch down the side, I think, now. Down the other side, right? Like hey, I'd be, I'd be tempted to foul this Coxagor. No apo. Oh, yeah, he's got a dirty player. I'd fucking jump on his head, mate. I'd be, I would have I would have pushed down the other side and just left the Crocs alone, mate. Nah, just kill it, mate. Kill it with fire. <laughs> yeah, you, you see this retainer lineman's going to run over in a minute with a jerry can for the diesel and <laughs> Pour it over his head. Yeah. Dirty players just gonna flick a match at him. John Trollvolta. And yeah, you can use it. You can use a troll with goblins and a troll with black orcs as well, can't you? So and a troll with chaos renegades. So having a troll is. Uh, yeah, I've decided. I've decided. I'm taking renegades uh, to yeah. backbreaker. Because I was supposed to play him this weekend, and then I took knobs instead. That's how I was painting him. A delightful team. Can't help but take knobs on a weekend. Glorious. No, I yeah, won't give I mean, in. What? Until I'm victorious. What? And I will defend. Knobs. I will defend. Hello. How it's going? Hello, Rimbo. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic. It's 63 glorious months. That's, uh, that's over five years, isn't it? And uh, God knows how many of you have been to these. 15, nearly 16. Thank you very much. Glorious. Oh, nice one, beard. It's going all right, thanks. <clears throat> See, I'm a because I'm a, I'm an owner of many teams now. Mm. I uh, all I did was paint one orc and paint one dark elf, and I painted a troll because I already had an ogre, a rat ogre, and mm. all the linos already. Oh well, nice foul mate. This is just a complete dice gym, I don't know. Well, that's why I didn't like it. You know, it's, uh, oh, I mean, oh, he's he's argue 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 oh, oh, that is a nice foul, Jim. <laughs> hey, I don't like it because it doesn't get you anywhere it's, and you just get bugged he's down. He's too noble to get sent off, Jim. <laughs> he's too noble. Honestly, do you know you know how these are Imperial Retainer linemen? I was looking at the original Imp knobs the, the, the last night. The original what, you ones. Mean no, no, the original Imp knobs, and they uh, oh, they had two ogres. <laughs> they had not two ogres, and the uh, the bodyguards were block what, and were, guard. Were they actually a thing before twenty twenty? Were they? Yeah, yeah, they were twenty sixteen. They, they brought out they brought out like no. savage orcs. They brought out clan pestilence, savage orcs. Oh, was it um, uh, Spike magazine? Yeah, was yeah, Slayer teams and uh, Imp knobs. And the imp knobs, the linemen were six three three eight with fen. They were just like better than human linemen, which is, which is we're, we're, it seems right, right? If you're the richest team, you know, then you, then your mm. linemen are just better than normal humans. That would have been completely reasonable. And they've got more money, so they could play more mercenary ogres, play, right? M makes perfect sense. And now they've got oh. this like, ooh, what, you know, for some reason they've got things that look like peasants. Like it makes no sense. Oh yeah, we're the richest teams but we can't afford to kit out our team as well as a human team does like it's mental i hate what they've done with knobs really hate what they've done with mate knobs. they're like an absolute joy to play <laughs> like, for you absolute jimmy absolute joy there's nothing better in life than playing knobs <laughs> on the weekend <laughs> it's absolute cinema <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've decided I was going to take my human linos as the renegade linos, but I've painted my corn linos better, so I'm going to take my corn linos. Mm. They look cooler anyway, and they look more chaosy. This, this could be a really good turn, but it kind of starts with an ogre block, but it's so. No, good. it starts with a DP foul, mate. What are you, <laughs> <on about? laughs> you get more fa you get more assists if you if you block things. Yeah, first. to be fair, I probably do block the ogre. Yeah. Mm. And then I foul the crocs. 
I block with the ogre, follow, put this guard in, block him, and then this guy blitzes him, and then comes back there, and you block him, so you get knock over four Saurus, and, uh, and you get to foul this guy. I'm going to hit the uh, move bus skink. Yep. So yeah, so I think I think there's actually, you know, if if they'd made um, knobs like elite humans, I think that would have actually been good. It would have fit the fluff, it would have fit a niche in team creation, and it would have been fine, but instead they just made them Verts 2.0 that never made sense in the fluff, and these don't make sense in the fluff. Really weird. Oh, oh my oh god. My god. Oh, oh that, is, that is a huge erection moment for the uh, ability team. That is wow. the dog's danglies, isn't it? It is, mate. Fwah. I would have screamed. I would have actually screamed on tabletop. <laughs> That's really good for overtime as well. Yeah, yeah, if it, yeah, yeah. Because it's the only way he wins, right? The only way talk, talk, talk can win is by getting to overtime. So banging becomes even better for him. I think he's going to do it, you know. I think he's going to put the guard in. Hit that guy. He's well, he can put out. a player in. Yeah, he's got to, because he's always got defensive assist. So, yeah, he's pretty much got to put the guard in and punch this. He's got to punch and this. Then he can... Oh, he's already blitzed, though, hasn't he? Uh... And then he can come in and foul as well. Oh, he's got the punch on that Saurus as well, if you want to see. Yeah. Threaten the sideline, I guess. This is only a two assist foul. This this is problematic. Yeah, it is. But it wasn't really. I mean, because he did, because he blitzed the chameleon skin instead of blitzing this Saurus, that cost yeah, him like yeah. the assist, right? He could have had three assists on it if he'd done it. Uh, four assists, sorry. He would have had four assists because he would have had mm. these two. He's not fouling him, Oh Jim. my god, he's not fouling. Oh but no, because he, he had to put him there because uh, he can just. Lucky pal, because otherwise he just sh shoved Why him onto his tackle. Start? I would have pushed him outside. So if he stands up, you can surf him. Yeah. Oh, he's fouling the Saurus, um, I think. Okay. No. Dinada? Yeah, but it, if, if, <laughs> he blit, if he blitzed this one, it would have been... It was going to be two assists, right? And then that would have been three assists from him, four assists from him. And then six, he rolled a six, plus four would have been ten. He would have broken the Avila Crocs. Probably killed it. GG. <laughs> but no, obviously you can't go for results. But I really I really like, I much preferred clearing this Saurus and, uh, and maximising the foul. But, you know, he could have cast the uh, skink, couldn't he? Like, it's fine going for skinks. And talk, talk, talk has got this inept skill of not getting his knobs removed. It's pretty incredible. I mean, he's lost one, but yeah, he's, he's doing pretty well. And he's got 11 on the pitch. Yep. It is only turn three of the drive, but yeah. I mean, that's massive, honestly. Like, Jim, that's massive. I think the penetration is better. He's, he's got, you know, he's got quite a lot down here, hasn't he? Pushing forward. So I guess that's what yeah, he got as well from blitzing yeah, the scheme. He's got more penetration. Yeah. They're so shitty going forward. Mm. But yeah, this is the problem. This guy's. Oh no, he didn't blitz him. I thought he'd have blitzed the tackler. He's, he's, he's had enough of that dirty player, mate. Yeah, he's, he's like, yeah screw this guy. Uh, it was Euroball, Euroball, R R R R um with any, any. Uh... World Cup rules, Jimmy, not the Euroball. No, it's the cup, isn't it? Wasn't the cup Euroball? I got no idea. Morgs throwing me off. Apologising now. <laughs> I think I don't. I don't know if you could have all the packs on it. I think you could have. I think uh, you could have oh, two. Oh, your fault. Is your fault? Yeah. 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 You're all with packages. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the ladder was no packages, right? And then, and then the playoffs. The playoffs. The cup was Euroball with packages, and then the current ladder is World Championship. I didn't even take a package. Don't like packages, do you? No, I just rather play the way I play on tabletop. Like mm. it's uh, comfort more than anything. Mm. Can get right down the field now, I think. 
right down there. He's got his ogre's free as well, which is really nice. Really nice, yeah. I guess he just steps forward one square, stands up the dirty player, punches the Saurus back onto the Ogo, and then blitzes the top Saurus, and he's got a cage down there. He could surf. If this Ogre had blitzed, he could have pushed the Saurus to there, then he could have blocked the Saurus to there, then he could have blocked the Saurus to there, and then he could have surfed it. So I didn't. I wouldn't have hated the, the Ogre blitz there. Oof. Oh, that's not good. Neil Poir. Block it, he block, block, block. That's really, really kind of... Yeah, it really sucks. Oh, he does use a reroll, that's a thing. It sucks, but at the end of the day, you've got to get to overtime to be able to, uh, you know, to be able to benefit from that reroll over time, so... Probably could have been... another one off a kickoff event. Oof. At least he's got a lot of stuff downfield anyway, so like he should be able to score. The only problem is if he leaves the lizards two turns back. Mm. How but, many lizards? Yeah, well, ten at the moment, and down a Saurus. He's going to have to do that funky no cage where the wrestler's on the left of the ball carrier. Yeah. Like that. Like a half finger bus. Uh, cock and balls cage. Oh, cock and balls, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cock and balls. <laughs> That's it. He, needs, he needs to bust out the cock and balls. <laughs> oh no, he's not. He's still full caging. Yeah. I would have liked to get that other lino through and more central, so like two squares gap between him and the wrestler. Mm. Just to close off that angle a bit. Could be a bit annoying. Well, I thought he'd have done the 1D there and, and, you know, if he wanted to 1D, I mean, that obviously valued clearing out this bodyguard. I guess the bodyguard can come around here or something. Yeah. But I would have probably... Oh, OK, we'll come around. Oh, we can't oh, re-roll that. Re that no. Dead. Cast. Oh, no. Oh, we know it. We oh, knew it. no. Oh, no. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've done that loads of times. Really bad idea to kill your own player. Um, what he can do here is... Um, he can, what, two... I don't know, it's probably too hard with a guard. Two, three, four, five... No, the guard makes it too difficult. You could have, like, pushed him and then... Uh, right, no, sorry, put put a skink in here and then pushed him into there, right, and then block that, but then he doesn't get the... Uh, nah, that's... Uh, nah. He doesn't get anything <laughs> if he does that anyway. Oh, then he, oh, then he yeah. could have chained him again. It was too hard with the strength five, really. Yeah, he really wants to get the crocs back. Easy. Yeah, getting the crocs would be him. nice. I can't even really foul him. Oh, God. <laughs> he has broken him. Like, the croc, all because he blitzed with the crocs instead of a, blit, a block bloody... Saurus. Yeah, it's kind of wrecked his drive, hasn't it? Yeah. Maximum punish. Mm. I guess he is going to Crocs Blitz to get him back. He might, he is. I think that's why he took that hit there, so he can move him back through the middle afterwards. Yeah. He, he needs a pal, though. That's the problem. He does, yeah. He might. He could, he could put two skinks on there to make it a 3D. <laughs> it's wow. probably what he's thinking about now because it really is important to get his crocs back. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, the crocs is only going to get like in line with the ogre anyway. Uh... Yeah. But if he just get himself a two-turn chance, that's like really, really desirable, ah. isn't it? Ah. Just dodge, eh? Fuck it. Let's just go. Let's just dodge. Yeah, I'll just leave him there, man. Keep the guard pin. I mean, you're definitely keeping your crocs pinned rather than his guard. <laughs> but I guess the fact that the danger is he just fails and dies. But remain positive at all times, Jimmy. I always remain positive, Jimmy. You know me. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Positive. 
a bastion mean? of positivity. Bastion. Yeah. He's got to blitz the uh, blitz the skink, hasn't he? And then wait for all these Saurus to smash into his team, and uh, then score early, and then lose two one maybe. Oh, the ogre didn't stand up. That's bad news. Yeah, really bad. Real bad. This is making the stall look real hard because all like, you know, this guy stunned, the ogre down. Yeah, there's going to be loads of Saurus coming back next turn. gonna get messy well I think what he's doing here is uh, oh, I think that guy should have been one square over he's, he's just gonna go with a three man screen there and he's gonna use his two linos to face I think which is like brave because I don't know I would just try and double screen right yeah double screen because you just don't want you you want the lizards all over you Oh, going show and show. Uh, knobs and lizards, yeah. No cloakers. Notable lack of cloakers, but there are. <laughs> lizards and knobs. He dodges, fails. Doesn't Ooh, die. He's die this time. No, he's, he's improving. Yeah. The skink uphill push, it, but yeah, but then you've got to what one skink's got to go in here to to stop the uh, thing. He's got tackle there, so you'd have to go around this way. Um, so you'd have to you'd have to dodge in there to cancel it. So you'd have to dodge in there to cancel it with this guy, and this one have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you could do, yeah. It's not terrible, but I mean, the problem is there's a lot of dice, right? When you could just Blitz and base with strength four monsters. That's the thing about people who, you know, say like, oh, Dauntless and a Skink is good and Wrestle and Skink is good. It's like you just don't need to make those plays most of the time. Just smash in with Saurus and it's a lot safer and usually does the job. He hasn't really got enough back. Yeah, he's got these other two Saurus yet. Yeah, he somehow hasn't got enough back. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should move that skin first, yeah, that's it, and then get the source for the cat. He wants to stay fairly central. I think he wants to go there. Doesn't base him. And these want to go out here and here or something. Does base him. Maybe there. I don't know. I'd have definitely got him more central. Well, he's faster than the ball, though, isn't he? He is. The removal. Oh, it's getting worse and worse. For talk, 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 talk. And yeah, he's dropped two players. Could blitz the skink and then cage up over here. Oh my god. The big guys have been trash, haven't they? The crocs went yeah. stupid. The ogre's gone double stupid. The crocs nearly lost the game with a one in nine. <laughs> Diabolical big guys. Maybe he's thinking, no, he can't score now. Like, this is a really bad turn to score on. Well, it's it's better than scoring turn 15, isn't it? You think? Yeah, because if you score turn 15, you can't counter score. But if you score turn 14, you can threaten a counter score. Oh, I got turn 6 mm. of a drive. If you score on turn 6 of a drive, you can, count, you can threaten a counter score. But if you score turn 7, you can't. counter 2 turn isn't exactly legendary. <laughs> no, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. But from a, from like, you know, a, from a technical perspective, it's not it's not as bad as maybe you'd think. Um, which obviously, like you know, both are a lot worse than sixteen. Obviously, if you can get it to, I mean, score it, it'll turn eight. But I just don't see how he stalls it another turn. But yeah, obviously, it's harder for lizards scoring two than three. So it's one of those. It's like it's like two three versus two seven. That's what it is in poker. If you're a, if you're a poker person. Oh, he's failed. Roll the one. Oh my god. 
He's had two of them cast on failed dodges, two guard, two yeah. guard bodyguards killed on two, three plus dodges. Oh, well, no, one was a four plus dodge, but still, just dodges, cast two his own players. That's brutal. That's, yeah, that's probably game. Yeah. Wish he'd roll like that against me. <laughs> also, there was just a, oh, no, this is stand firm. Oh, my God. It's another one cast. Wait, that wasn't a stun firm? No, that was a lino he just hit. Well, he could have just uh, he could have just filled that square and caused the score, couldn't he? I think he wants 16 more turns of fun. <laughs> well, what I mean is that was a mistake by uh, Talk 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 to allow that, wasn't it? Not to allow his players to die by failing dodges. Yeah. <laughs> no, this this hit this hit to get the push. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, this is looking really bad for him, so. Well, he's just got a dodge, hasn't he? That's it, there's no, there's not nothing to think about. Yeah, but yeah. It's looking really rough. Even if he scores, it's... Yeah, it's probably over, yeah. Yeah, you can win the toss and like bang it in in two turns, right? Like you can, you can somehow def he can get lucky enough to defend the two turn, and then he can, um, he can. Oh god! Oh, he didn't follow. He can win the toss, and then he can uh, bang it in early. So there's a chance. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can two turn, can't he? Yeah. So Here we go. One in nine for the game. For yeah. The yeah, there's nothing else. I mean, I guess you could blitz. You could block this one, yeah. Oh, it's just burnt the threes. Because <laughs> you've got to get lucky to win now, so I think you've got to make that block first. Is it? Yeah, that's good. Does his dodge. But I mean, oh, three guards down. That is brutal. Yeah, that's is down to nine as well, right? So he's yeah. nine with only one bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah, this is really, really bad. This is the one he got ten, but you know, looking much better. And they've actually gained reroll equity. There's still at two, whereas Talk 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 has down has used one, so it's down to two. Oh my god. Who's your uh, semi-final against, Timmy? Oak guy, Orcs. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, not the worst matchup. No, uh, Undead have got a decent matchup versus Orcs. Yeah, you're right. It's much better than Necro. Yeah. Not uphill in one D, but the problem is the uphill isn't isn't very good, is it? Like it's it's thirty percent instead of thirty three. To fail, so it's slightly better, but he's only got two rerolls and he can only win by winning in overtime. And he's gonna to have to use those rerolls to do things because he's got no fucking players left. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to use the reroll, Jay Bazzo, because you're in overtime. Yeah, that's the thing, that's the thing. Just just dodge, you dodge with your dodge skill. Get yeah, it you don't wanna, yeah, if you don't want to waste the reroll and then go into overtime. Yeah. yeah, if he was one nil up, then then you could have done like you know the uh, the, the highest odds to score if you were one nil up, and then you go two nil up and win. Or if it was nil nil, maybe, maybe at nil nil, definitely one nil up. You do the highest odds at nil nil. You maybe do the highest odds, but at one nil down, I think just try and get it in and conserve rerolls for more chance of overtime, time, especially especially when your team is so wrecked as it is now but even if it wasn't yeah, that's still like, mate that's like 330 tv <laughs> yeah. more than more than that and it? it's 375 yeah but it, some of that was going to be off the board anyway wasn't it so it's more oh yeah like three two subs uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, two nine whatever whatever it is but um how much are they are they 45 
Yeah, yeah, and then the knobs are the, uh, the bodyguards are 90 plus the 20 for the skills. Yeah, so 375, so 290, 290 TV down on pitch. Yeah. 335 now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be tempted just to let him score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just save your time. I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> say it's over. I'd just say it was over. I don't, I don't think Elliot would do it. Nah. So you can get the Crocs going on all three here. Oh, four. Yeah. Wow. I am here. It's mad that two of them are to fail dodges as well, oh my god. Punch the goddamn lineman already! Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Starter Driver, just punch, just punch things. What are you yeah. waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a pass, man. Hand off, hand off. Bosh. Oh, it's looking good. The problem is, he's got, he hasn't got... Nah, he goes next to that Saurus. He goes next to that Saurus, he's fine. What, here? Uh, no, one forward. Yeah, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alright there, Jim, yeah. Maybe even here, honestly, because he could go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G five, G five. Yeah, so it's a four, three. I would have even gone one back. Yeah, it needs to be. Yeah, that's it. I'd have even gone one back. I don't like this. Nah, let him do it. Let him do it. I'm confident. Even if he gets me and sacks the ball, you've got the pick up and then you've got the handoff for the score, and you might burn his rerolls here. Yeah, and true. Like, honestly, if it goes into overtime, I think I'm winning this. Even if he wins the toss. Like, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. Maybe it just didn't matter where he went. Maybe he should have potatoed it. Just to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe it, honestly, yeah. Maybe if he goes one forty, it encourages him even more, right, to do the to yeah, do the dodge match here. Yeah, all your re in mm. and that. And if you fail, score, then he's got nothing. You do nothing. I wonder if he's gonna just blitz the skink in front and like screen, which seems terrible. But like then you just lose. So you've kind of got no choice but to go for the ball. The problem is you've got no choice but to go for the ball side because if you just try to blitz this skink and screen, you just definitely lose. So yeah, you don't. Really I mean, have he any could chance. he could just dodge through and do the four five dodge and blitz the ball, like just dodge through in front of the sword. Four three four three it is. This one look one two. Three, no 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 four, not not around there six, not around there seven, G5, through G5. the screen through the screen. With the dodger, you can just do four or five. That's worse, though, isn't it? Because mm. like you don't use the re-roll. You don't use the re-roll because you got your dodge re-roll. Right? Yeah, but hitting with tackle is really good, isn't it? So like you want to not lose. Like not not losing in normal time is the most important thing, right? There we go. There That's we the go. problem. The problem is just instantly losing right now. Has he got a GFI for this? He does, yeah. He does indeed. So there's still a chance. Mm. I'd both down this. In fact, I'd have both down the first one. Just to you know, just to get more stuff around the bottom. I'd have moved then and moved like everything down the bottom in case you double on the GFI. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. so close. Oh there you go, that is the end. A two one victory for Will King. Commiserations, talk, talk, talk. Um, absolute tragedy for the knobs. Um, but congrats Will King. Lizards in the final. What do you think, Dimmy? I mean, they're pretty good, Jim. Right? They're pretty good. The tier one team versus a tier four team, you know. So. <laughs>
<laughs> That's kind of true, isn't it? But Nobs did get a lovely package, and uh, you know, so well. Played. I am here. Well played, though, getting the final talk, 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 and uh, yeah, lizards, lizards are a monster, monster team, and uh, they're very good. They're yeah, very good. But you know, still, congrats, Will King, and well played to both. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.